Do Twitter friends or princess SoundCloud sound page. Your boy Tom202. I know. I know. I need to shave. I need to shave. So, listen. Y'all know how I feel about the NBA. NBA being fixed. Now we got this whole thing with, uh, for one, shout out to Supreme Allah. He just, I mean, he's on it more than me. I don't know why he doesn't make videos about <laughs> the NBA being fixed. But nonetheless, he feeds me information uh, that I haven't looked up just yet. And uh, he was telling me about, you know, the uh, NBA website. Talking about how they want to trade Kevin Love for three small forwards. Now, I'm not up on basketball too much. I don't know if, uh, I don't know what position Chris Bosch plays. Uh, and, uh, but I, I've, I've said this when I, when I saw Chris and his, 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 uh, his episodes with the Miami Heat and the way LeBron James spoke about Chris and uh, listen, this situation with Chris Bosch didn't just start. It, 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 it's, it's not something that just started. Like I said, it's a game of chess. And we all know in chess, chess can take a very long time to play. And when you're playing chess, it's a bunch of calculated moves. Uh, so your opponent pretty much has to react in a way that they can either try to defend or oppose. So in this situation, the NBA, the NFL, the NHL, and all the sports that are being controlled by the uh, Jewish people, um, same thing with the music industry, they're on one side and we are on the other side. We as in the consumers. And what it seems to me that they're doing is they're like LeBron, LeBron said, he said, okay, let's go ahead and get my regular team back, right? So he already put it out there after he signed his deal for a hundred million that he wanted his crew back. Okay, fine. Then we got to the situation where uh, we got Irving signed and now we got an issue with J.R. Smith and him and them trying to give him 10, 11 million dollars and he's not going for it because somebody else just got signed for 85 million. Thompson, I believe. Tristan Thompson just got signed for 85 mil. So, so, uh, uh, so, um, he's not going for it. He's just like, nah, you just signed this dude for 85 mil and you want to sign me. And that's over five years. Tristan Thompson. And now, <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. Now you're looking at giving me 10 or $11 million. And he doesn't know how long, like how long is that contract? You know, for it to be worth anything, it would have to be like a 10 year contract for it to even, and not even that. Yeah, actually, I mean, it would have to be like a, a long contract for it to make a, a poignant statement saying that who's worth more than who. Now, when you look at what they're doing and who wants who and how LeBron James is putting his two cents into everything, now you're looking at Chris Bosh. And we already know that LeBron said he wanted to play with Chris Bosh. He said this two months ago. I want to play a game with Chris Bosh. Now Chris Boss has this episode with Miami, and all of a sudden, Miami doesn't want nothing to do with him over blood clots. Here's the thing. Chris has had this problem. Blood clots just don't pop up out of nowhere, and you don't know about him. He's been had this problem. And now they don't want anything to do with him. And what does LeBron do? LeBron chimes in. I don't like the way they're treating Chris Bosh. Okay, fine. Now you have a, a situation where Kevin Love can be traded to a team for three other players. Just because they said they were going to be forwards, small forwards, or whatever, doesn't necessarily mean that's who they have to ha have to get. 
You know what I'm saying? They can, if you can't tell, they can change at any time they want. And I said this as soon as I saw the news about Chris Bosh. I'm like, I'm betting a dime to a dollar Chris is going to end up playing with LeBron James because LeBron James said that's who he wanted. He said it outright. This is who I want to play with. He said, and then he said he's going to play with him. He he wants to he he wants to either uh, how did he say he wanted to do it? I need to go back and read the information. But what's really something is it's like what King James says. King James gets because he's he's he is the number one ticket seller right now. Why not make that man happy? You know what I mean? Who's going to make him unhappy? How you doing? I think hairdresser's house yeah. right there next door. You. You're welcome. Uh, but that parking space you're in is a uh, uh, handicap parking space. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to help out some people, but nonetheless. So what King James says, King James gets. And he's, he put all of this out there months ago, what he wanted. And now you have this maelstrom that has <laughs> kicked in the gear because he said this. So I, I'm, I'm just telling you guys, the NBA is fixed, thanks to Supreme Allah. You guys, let me know what you think, but I, I just think there's very few people who are controlling the NBA. And uh, I think it's all a big setup. It's all fixed. And uh, we're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, and I'm betting a dime to a dollar. Chris is going to end up right there with LeBron James, either playing in Cleveland. He might sit out for a year. And then, and then uh, or I don't think he's going to sit out for a year. He might go to Chicago. And then LeBron might end. Chris might go to Chicago, and then LeBron might end up going to Chicago, and then you have Chris. Then you have the big three again: D Wade, um, Chris, and then LeBron. Because LeBron ain't going nowhere for the next couple of years, so he can his contract is for what two years, three years. So he could uh, 18, 19, 2018, 19, He could just be like, okay, I you know, Thank you. no problem. He can be like, yo, I, I did what I was supposed to do in my contract. You know, I gave Cleveland an, another championship. Because let's face it, even if even if Kevin Durant and, you know, uh, Steph Green, even if those guys over there beat, beat Cleveland again this year, next year Cleveland can turn around and get it. Once Cleveland turns around and gets it again, LeBron could be like, you know what, Cleveland fans, what do you want? <laughs> you know, he can dip out after that and be like, I gave y'all two championship rings. Like, I put y'all back on top. Not to mention, when he leaves, the other team, the other uh, uh, the other major five doesn't don't have to leave with him. So they can still be contenders for the next 10 years. Because Irving is, you know, he's young. So they can still be contenders, you know what I'm saying? And Cleveland, you can't really cry about that. Because the 76ers ain't won since when? Since they had Julius Irving? I mean, so Cleveland can't really cry if LeBron sets them up nice. Gives them a, a strong four, dips out, heads to Chicago for about two years. You know, the strong three is at Chicago. And then LeBron might be like, you know what? I'm going to go chill out with Melo for a year. Go play with him, two-year contract, get another 100 mil, put the Knicks on, get them a championship, and then end his career. Or come back to Cleveland for one year, end his career. Just saying. It's your boy Tone 202. The NBA is fixed. Peace.